New into stock, we have a BMW 5 Series 2 litre 520D M Sport. It's a saloon, it's a 2015 on a 15 plate. Um, it has only done 28,643 miles. I've been using this car. It's a really nice car to drive. I've got to say, uh, one, of the, one of the best saloons, I think, to, to drive around in. Um, fuel economy very very economical too it's only 30 pounds a year to, to road tax urban miles per gallon 54.3 extra urban 68.9 and combined is 62.8 top speed of 145 miles an hour 0 to 60 in 7.7 .7 seconds and it's a 190 brake horsepower engine um, it has got also just dispose of that a second it has this little uh, switch here on the gear tunnel, comfort, economy, and sport. You've also got Eco Pro. Now, uh, Eco Pro, it shows you on the dashboard how many miles per gallon you've gained by having it in Eco Pro, which is a really good idea. However, you've got to put it into Eco Pro. Now, all cars these days have this stupid stop start thing on it automatically goes on to stop start and you have to knock it off if you want your engine to continue running at traffic lights you've got to knock it off but yet the eco pro isn't it doesn't default to eco pro unless there's a way in the uh, i don't know the settings that you can do it which i don't know about so eco pro's great it accelerates as fast as you need to it drives great it drives smooth the steering's nice and then you can you can change it to comfort to be honest you notice a little bit of difference mostly in the revs mostly when you're pressing the accelerator and then comfort uh, sorry then uh, sport dynamic whatever you want to call it you, you the steering wheel feels different the car feels different it it revs higher in and so what um service history it uh <laughs> we get all these books in the car in the bmw from new Got all these books, tells you all about the radio, navigation system, the, the controls, but you don't get a service book. You get, it's digital service history these days, um, which again is stupid because dealers like ourselves, we check to make sure the car has been serviced. It's, I know it's very easy for people to just buy a stamp off eBay and stamp them, but it's not very easy to uh, hack into the garage's computer system that you've said serviced it and, and build up a false service history. So we always, if, the, if there's anything funny, we always get to the bottom of it. BMW, again, they've got digital service history. A book would be nice. You can just go straight to it, take the book into the garage, ring the dealer, make sure it's been done. Quite often, they forget to put the date on, they get the date wrong, they get the mileage wrong, it's in kilometres. The, the service administrators make all sorts of mistakes and, and we spend half our lives checking and making sure that the car is actually what we say it is when we sell it. BMW, again, this, this book here, you can, you can mostly bring it up on the computer, which is a great thing. It, it really is, that's a, a good thing. But then, service history. You ring the dealers up, they're not very helpful, I've got to say, they're, they're probably very, very busy. And, the, and the, probably the reason they forget to put the mileage on, or the date, or they get the mileage wrong or the date wrong, they're, they're, they're probably too busy. However, on the dash here, multimedia, radio, telephone, navigation, contacts, connected drive, vehicle information, settings. So if you go into vehicle information, you've got efficient dynamics, quick reference, picture search, owner's handbook, onboard computer, trip computer, vehicle status. You select vehicle status. Then you've got tire pressure monitor, perform reset, engine oil level, measure engine oil level, service requirements, check control so if we just go back to service requirements click on that <sighs> front brake pads rear brake pads vehicle inspection engine oil brake fluid vehicle check there's okay all by that and then we go back to service history click on service history then it tells you when it was serviced in this case the 24th of the second 2017 
by BMW, 18,145 miles. Super, BMW dealer, 28986. I've no idea who that is, so if I need to phone them up, I probably have to phone BMW themselves, ask which dealer that is, get their number, then ring them, and then go through all the rigmarole that we used to go through before. It's an insane idea, absolutely insane. Also, you get these mileage um, correction services these days where they'll set your mileage, it's a digital thing, they'll set your mileage to whatever. Now, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be long before they'll be able to go into there, if they can reset the mileage, they'll be able to make some fictitious service history up that most dealers won't check. It, the, the manufacturers are making it so easy to clock cars these days, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, I've been in the trade all my life and uh, it, the job is just getting worse, it's getting harder, it's getting harder to check and there's more people taking shortcuts. We don't do that, so it's taking us longer and longer to sell cars. Anyway, gripe over. Oh, some other things about the BMW. You, you're driving along, parking space, you've got reversing sensors front and rear, however if you're just reversing into a space and there isn't a solid object at the back of it, it's just a parking space with another parking space at the back, you can't really see where you are. So, car dealers especially, when we're, when we're doing the forecourt, we open the door to look out, you open the door, car goes into park, it's, um, it, and you know stuff like that is the reason why there's so many stupid people alive today that didn't need inventing it's it's ridiculous right oh and another thing one more thing won't affect many people probably just me the cup holders are there you get your Starbucks venti latte you put it in there that switch there is your uh, stability control you put your coffee in there and you knock your stability control off so <laughs> it's uh, it, it, stupid people are okay, people that like coffee are more likely to die in this car than somebody who's completely stupid. I'll take you for a drive in it now. I do have some positive things to say. I'm, I'm in a, a fairly bad mood with BMW at the moment. We're all in the news threatening to pull out of the UK. And I think we're probably the uh, third largest market, so if they, uh, if they do pull out, then uh, bye bye BMW, well, let's sell something else, it won't bother me. I've worked for BMW dealer, probably the, uh, apart from now, the happiest time in my sales career, I worked for a guy called Ian Blenkinsop at uh, Ian Anthony Bolton, the guy was way, way ahead of his time, so was the dealership. We had a, our own canteen, the staff were well looked after. We even had a lift up to the canteen. It, it, was, it was a fantastic place to work for. Um, so I, I have those good memories of BMW. That's the stop start. Now, if you just watch it shake when I, and all cars do this, not, not just BMW. When, when this car's ticking over, you can balance a, a coin on the dashboard. However, when it starts up, it shakes the coin off the dashboard, which, which shows you the stress it's putting through the car each and every time you, you start up. It's, it starts at the front with a little cog on the starter motor, turning your dual mass flywheel and uh, shaking the whole car. A, again, stupid. A, your engine mounts, your gearbox, all that sort of stuff all gets a lot more wear with this start stop. So I advise you shut that off and switch the Eco Pro on and actually save yourself some money. Um, the car is finished in white. It's got black Dakota leather with contrast stitching. I think it's ivory stitching. And uh, automatic. We've got paddle shift. We've got a height and reach adjustable steering wheel got headlamp wash, hollow wheels, we've got electric door mirror, 
buttons there, electric windows, another uh, brilliant idea, it's keyless ignition. However, it's not Hello. It's not keyless entry, so you have to get the key out of your pocket to open the doors, and then, then, well, you may as well just, you've got it out of your pocket, you may as well put it in a slot in the ignition, and at least you know where it is. We've got sat-nav. Okay. Car's gone off again. As you can tell, we've also got hands-free Bluetooth. Once, you, once your phone is paired to the Bluetooth system, you can also stream audio uh, through the speakers in the car. The car does drive very, very nicely. As I say, I've been using it myself for the last few weeks. Very economical. And uh, once in a while, and I've had lots of 5 Series cars, lots of things, Cavaliers in the old days, Mercedes C-Class and E-Class, and when you're entitled to a certain car, you, you can have all sorts of things. You, you get fed up with the colours, you have different colours, different colours inside and so on, but basically the engine and the running gear are the same. However, every so often, you'll get a car, even though it's the same model, it's the same price and everything, you'll get a car that runs better than all the others. I can, I can remember uh, when the new Cavaliers came out, I had one and I think it was VRN 66Y, so that shows you how bad, but it drove a heck of a lot better than any of the others. And it, it, it's the same with this BMW 5 Series. I, I, I can't really fault the drive, it's quiet, um, the, the ride isn't harsh as, cars with run flats usually are it's just a very very nice car I would think judging by the wear inside it's uh, it, well it's, it's had a fastidious owner it's been really well looked after I don't think the mileage has been done by lots of short trips in which case if it has and they don't switch the stop start off you can tend to feel that the engine's a bit it feels a bit loose at the front end when it starts up everything shakes a little bit more on the car that's that's done more motorway miles this this is a lovely lovely car it's got the uh, is it ecotechnic system and when you're braking I'll, I'll try and show you this uh, little gauge here when you're braking you can see charge going back into the battery which then means that the alternator has to do less work to keep the battery charged up, it stores the electricity and hence you get more miles to the gallon because the engine's not working, it's hard to drive everything. The air con's fantastic. You see there, when I put my foot on the accelerator, the gauge goes across there. As I take my foot off, it's going up to the blue sweet spot. And when you're going downhill, and it's uh, kind of engine braking. I, hi, I'm just tied up at the moment. Could I call you back in a short while? Okay, uh, I just thought I'd let you know I'm taking the car on Sunday, yeah? But you, you're coming for the car on Sunday, that's brilliant. We'll, we'll see you then. Brilliant. Okay, well that's good news. The, 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 the customer is actually on this car, so our customers will never see this. So I, I, I don't know. I can, I can now tell you I've, uh, I've pretty much made my mind up. If, if BMW and uh, any other companies 
car companies pull out of the UK due to uh, Brexit and so on, then uh, I'll be pulling out of selling their cars. So there you go. Having said that, <laughs> I've sold a lot of BMWs in the past. I just wish the UK had our own motor industry selling our own cars and not assembling them for other people. Uh, that would make me a happy man, relatively. So it looks like I'm uh, not going to get up to uh, 70 along here. It looks like I'm going to be at a standstill in a short while. Chap very kindly letting me pull in. Um, I was hoping to be able to show you how economical it is at, at 70. It's basically just ticking over. Very big boot. Let's see what we've got. We've got this kind of checker plate uh, aluminium inset to the all along the dash, the gear tunnel, the door cards. Looks pretty good, uh, more modern than wood, whether you like it or not. We've got sports seats, uh, electric adjustment, height and backrest adjustment, although um, leg space is done by a, a, an actual handle. We've got Xenon headlights. It's really, really nicely finished off. And again, it's, it's probably uh, one of the latest cars before they start going to iPad displays and, and stuff that's going to cost a fortune to fix in the future, or even more. So electric stop-start with the um, stop start knock off switch there. We've got temperature gauge in the dash here showing 29 and a half degrees outside in the UK which is unbelievable. That's perhaps the car to be in today. Fuel gauge at the left hand side, speedo. In the speedo you have your little economy gauge showing you how many miles you've clawed back that you're not really entitled to by driving economically. On the right hand side, rev counter and then coolant temperature the bottom here you've got your trip computer I can just see that so there you go that's showing you how many miles you've got left before you need to refill average miles to the gallon this has been around the garage while it's been uh, clean so it's only showing 37.7 at the moment but that will uh, go up quickly as I say it is a very very economical car and average miles per hour.
So if I go to media now, my phone is actually uh, synced to the car. If I go to media, and then turn that up to multimedia, external devices, sound, CD, Spirit in the Sky, Norman Greenborn, Blast from the Past, it's great sound in the car, you, you can also, from there, from the multimedia, if you just click down, sorry, turn down to sound, there you can control treble, bass, balance, fader and the volume settings, oops, still playing. Don't want YouTube to knock the soundtrack off. Handles very, very nicely. You knock the gear stick, the gear selector over to the left. You can then use it as a semi-automatic, changing gear like so. You use the paddle shift to override. You've got cruise control here. There you go. Just click that little switch up there. Just gonna have to move over. So, cruise is easy enough to set. Heated seats. Very nice ride, very smooth. No noises, knocks, no wheel balancing. The car's sat on, uh, I think it's Pirelli's all round. Steering is just very, very precise. And uh, you don't get the feeling with this one that uh, the tyres have been, or the rubber on the, the wheels has been replaced with grinding discs. It feels like you're ripping the road up as you're going along it. It's a, it's a real nice smooth drive. I'll just try and show you this. We're in Eco Pro. Let's just see. Eco Pro at the moment. And then we'll get to doing 40 in Eco Pro. Then if I click it forward, that goes into comfort. You see the revs move, only slightly, but they do move. Now this guy's in front of us doing 30 miles an hour. Right, so we'll do 30. 30 miles an hour in Eco Pro changed into top we're doing a thousand revs so it's barely ticking over click it forward we're going to comfort the revs go up slightly the speed goes up slightly and but I've not moved my foot and then we go into sport car changes down cars going faster it's doing more revs again I've not moved my foot so basically it just I don't know it, it it just gives you a, a longer pedal travel, an artificially long pedal travel. But the car is, the car is great. As soon, if I can remember to put it into a Eco Pro, then that's how I drive. And 
just, it takes a little longer to kick down, but uh, it's it's certainly fine for me. Nice and comfortable, fit for adults in the game. We we get to this corner and there's a lorry coming the other way. Good front central armrest here, opens up, got USB, auxiliary in. And uh, a bit of storage space as well. Now just going down the hill, we're in Eco Pro, I'll just turn this, just turn the fan down a bit. And uh, foot off the accelerator, as we start going down, car's momentum there you go I put my foot on the brake and the charging it's regenerating now from the uh, from braking and it's putting charge back into the battery so as soon as you as soon as you take your foot off the accelerator and touch the brake it starts to charge the battery and uh, I think the sweet spot is probably neutral and as you accelerate there it shows you're actually using power so on here, switch the brake, and there you go, it's up to charge. I'd, I'd like to know how much, uh, how much you save from braking going down hills um, in fuel, the actual monetary cost, and how much a set of discs and pads cost, and whether one outweighs the other. Because I'm I'm braking now, and it's it's charging, but obviously also you're using the um, your material on your pads. I think what we need is BMW to pull out of the UK and uh, Mr. Dyson and uh, what's his name, John Elliott in charge of EBAC, the UK washing machine manufacturer who seems like a really, really clever guy. We need them two to collaborate and make cars. Preferably not electric ones. OK, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth system in this uh, BMW 520. Uh, first of all, from any screen into telephone, you see their Bluetooth menu, connect further devices, so Bluetooth menu, add new Bluetooth, paired Barry's iPhone, onto Barry's iPhone, click sideways, and then you've got switch off, configure device, remove device, I want to remove it. That's it, that's it gone. Uh, you can go through work through individually take each one out as you as you please right just show you how to pay your mobile to the bluetooth system in this uh, bmw so first of all we make sure oops first of all we make sure bluetooth is on now personally I just wait to see if anything comes up here, usually it does but if not you can always go into telephone, especially if the system's not switched on. Ok I'm fed up waiting so we'll go into telephone and then you've got please pair Bluetooth device, connect further devices in Bluetooth menu, Bluetooth menu, Bluetooth menu, add a new device, you see there 
there's a tick next to Bluetooth. If there's no tick, obviously, tick that and then that activates it. So add new device. Please use your BT device to start searching for BT devices. The vehicle will identify itself as BMW 10507, BMW 10507. Click on there. Bluetooth pairing requests, O5257 pair. And if it matches that, click OK. Not very often, but you could be parked next to somebody else who's got their uh, Bluetooth switched on and you can pick up theirs. Or in a garage like this, you can pick up any amount of other vehicles. I don't want it to allow uh, my contacts to sync. I was using this car, but we've just sold it today. So don't allow, but you will. Just taking its time there. Checking passkey, pay attention to prompts on Bluetooth device. Functions of the device, Barry's iPhone, telephone one, yes, that's that's fine with me. BMW 10507 connected. You've also got a tick next to Bluetooth audio. Now, if that's not ticked, it will stream audio through the Bluetooth from your mobile. So, make sure that's ticked. Accept and connect, it was already... Uh, connected anyway. Great thing with the audio system in this BMW 520 is you can also stream audio through the uh, via Bluetooth through the, the radio. So if you go into your iTunes, onto a record there, you see the red triangle with the three red circles, just click on there and make sure there's a tick next to it. If it's showing there, there will be, but if you don't see it, click on the red triangle and just make sure the ticks there so ticks on back on there it's playing now it's on full blast if we then go to media Barry's iPhone 10 make sure that's switched on and then so that's it playing through uh, through the audio system Okay, okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat-nav in this uh, BMW. Uh, from any screen, click nav, which is the bottom right-hand one there. If you click across there, you've got settings here. If you click to the left, you can go on to this. Click to the left, you can go on to these different icons. If you click to the left again, you've got the one we're after, destination input map recent destinations point of interest so turn the thumb wheel until you get to destination input we want united kingdom anyway that's the town click on the town and you can put a postcode in so we are grosvenor garage chorley road Wantleydale, preston pr now we need to go to numbers click on further characters five four and then we need to go back it's defaulted back to letters j s and then click ok using the thumb wheel that's it turn it down to start guidance click start guidance in 100 yards you will have reached your destination so i'll just show you again from from that screen if you click left and left again it brings up this the navigation instructions which is what you want destination input destination input there again Grosvenor Garage Chorley Road Preston P R now that was the letters we need numbers so turn round to there and you see further characters click further characters then five four defaults back to letters J S. It's defaulted to OK. Click OK just by clicking this the uh, selector button and then turn the rotary down down to start guidance. Start guidance. In 100 yards you will have reached your destination.